Next, let's queer up <laughs> entertainment. Trans singer's heart-crushing moment at American Idol moves, well, everyone for Trans Day of Visibility. Be it entertainment, music, literature, politics, or sports, the LGBTQ plus community is leaving its mark on every sector. Transgender singers like Shea Diamond and Laura Jane Grace are already popular for winning music lovers' hearts. Now, adding to the list is Amari, a 28-year-old waitress from Indiana. Amari captivated the American Idol judges with her heartfelt performance of Sarah Bareilles' She Used to Be Mine. Though judges liked it, Amari was given another opportunity to showcase her versatility, where Judge Katy Perry encouraged Amari to reveal more of her true self through another song. That is when Amari shared her moving backstory of resilience and self-discovery. She bravely talked about her story of acceptance and overcoming adversity. Despite facing challenges and losing loved ones during her transition, Amari decided to move on. Her courage and talent shone through her performance when she sang an emotional song from Borella's musical, Waitress. This performance earned her a standing ovation from Katy Perry. While Brian offered constructive criticism, Perry and Richie enthusiastically supported Amari's journey and talent, giving her a resounding yes. Amari's inspiring audition is a reminder of the power of authenticity and the importance of visibility for transgender individuals, especially as we celebrate Trans Day of Visibility on March 31st. This is a really feel-good story in a moment in time when there are not many good feel-good feel stories for our trans siblings mm -hmm. and her, the performance was very moving mm -hmm. if you've watched it is very moving mm -hmm. and Katy perry crying was everything oh. i really just loved it and i think it's just one of those moments that you feel really special about and i'm very happy for her and that she's going on to hollywood it's mm. super exciting and it, it is a very brave moment that she shared her so openly her heart it was very heartfelt i, I was watching and it didn't happen at first just so you know, yeah, she performed she and then a different song. First. Basically, like, right. she did Britney Spears Toxic. Correct. Why would she a pick wild that song? Choice. And then Katy Perry said, no, but no, good, right. Yeah. But, but I, I guess they kind of like sense that there was a backstory mm -hmm. and then by they the asked her yeah. more. Yeah. Right. Yeah, by the in ear. <laughs> they got handed it. Right. Yeah. And then they asked her to sing something that will uh, be more reflected of, of her. her. And, yeah. that's when, and she's a waitress. So and that's when she sang the song when she said, that's when she started her story. And that was was so like you i was i, I was like crying and yeah. then they show her her boyfriend her boyfriend, the boyfriend, yeah. her boyfriend was outside waiting for her and you know she sang and when she sang that second song that was everything. that was it yeah. that, that was, was it look it. i gotta tell you that i haven't watched american idol for a very long time because of all those setups right every effing person that gets closer to hollywood has a dead mother a dead father they went through cancer their dog died yesterday yes. everybody and then that ominous music comes up and you know the sad right. story coming right so i got tired of that shit, and that's why i stopped watching american idol. i did because i was just like how much so you know like it's Absolutely. just it was it, and you know i don't watch the show it's but I just so, this clip. It's so put together, yeah. Dale. It's, it's so, so scripted. It's, it's so produced. set up. Like, you can't have a talent without a sad backstory. You better kill somebody off because <laughs> they're not going to take you to Hollywood unless you got, you're got you missing a foot True. or something's going on because it's just, it's just you know, they're in season 843. It's over. Paula's dead. I mean, you know, it's just so much <laughs> at this point. Yeah, but I, for yeah. this story, when I heard about it, I did watch you the did watch clip. Yeah, that's I had what I did. to. Yeah, that's and what it I was did. moving. Who, I honestly believe that they told her, all right, sing some bad song. Sing Toxic. Right. Go, go, go. Literally. And then, Katie, please, are you pregnant? Okay, so you're going through hormones. Okay, tell them that you want to hear another song. And that's what happened. And welcome to Hollywood, okay? But we support you, mama, okay? Oh, and and she's adorable also. She is yeah. such a pretty girl. Yeah. She is. What that's, do you have to say now? I have to say. I'm my, ready for I'm ready for. No, training. no, I, I like it. There, you have never taken the words out of my mouth they more than just now. We've never agreed like, on anything. We, sometimes we do. But like, I just, it's hard for me to look at things. I like, I I'm glad watch. that there I are more. No, I'm glad that there are more trans right. the visibility is there. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, thank you, American Idol, for putting that out there. Mm -hmm. But when I just look at it, I just hear the producer in the ear. And I did <laughs> yeah, do yeah, part literally. of this American Idol thing before. And it's just like, okay, all right. Oh, that that girl is a trans or or you know she's whatever trans like woman, we yes. pull let, pull let's pull out the story let's get her we need we need tears we need tears, tears right, right, people right, right. ominous you know? music ominous music exactly so it's it's hard for me to like have that that feel good moment in the but way I, that you do but I, 
Yeah, but I, they, I think there are some genuine moments within it. I mean, once they, yeah. you know, I mean, I haven't watched American Idol in years, uh, mainly because I get annoyed. <laughs> because, well, you're a singer, honey. No, I get, a, but I get annoyed work. because we didn't have that when I was young. Oh. And it, it, it sort of pisses me off that I didn't have that opportunity. You can do it op- now. No, bitch. And, <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, I have to come up with some of my stories. Oh, I was abused. Da, 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 da. Maybe, I, maybe I can work that angle. I'm just saying. Yeah. But, but uh, they pick they pick that story. If they pick that story about trans inclusivity, kudos for them. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. something. At least that's not 600 needed. people that went across right. the stage it's that day. It's a huge you know what juxtaposition I mean? like, compared to back in the day where you had to hide your trans right. identity in order to make it far. Yeah. She was able to use her story, her trans identity, to make it further. So, like, girl, use it for what it's worth. So, Be your okay. true self. Love yourself. Like, girl, you better use it as best you can.